Technology is changing the world at an incredible pace. Whether we like it or not, we're living in a digital age. An era where mastering digital tools and technology is not just a competitive advantage, it's essential for survival. Throughout my career, I've seen firsthand how industries, businesses, and personal lives have been transformed by technology. And I've learned that those who embrace digital proficiency thrive, whilst those who resist it get left behind. In the early days of my career, I built my business on the wave of digital transformation. I was part of the dot-com boom, navigating the internet revolution as it reshaped industries. But even as technology opened doors, it also brought challenges. When the dot-com bubble burst in 2001, many businesses, including mine, faced severe losses. But the lesson I took from that experience wasn't to fear technology, it was to adapt. And that's the core of digital proficiency, the ability to adapt to new tools, platforms, and ways of working that can enhance your life and career. The digital age has opened up endless possibilities for innovation, communication, and productivity. Whether it's artificial intelligence, social media, e-commerce, or even remote work, technology offers us powerful tools to connect, create, and grow. But here's the key. Technology itself is not enough. The real power comes from how you use it. Let me share this story with you. After recovering from the dot-com bubble, I recognized that staying ahead of the curve meant mastering new digital tools. In the early 2000s, we pivoted our business model to focus on internet solutions. That shift allowed us to ride the next wave of digital innovation. We didn't just survive, we thrived. But that success wasn't because of technology itself. It was because we learned how to use it to solve real problems and create value. And this is the crucial point. Digital proficiency isn't about knowing the latest apps or platforms. It's about understanding how to leverage digital tools to optimize your life, your business, and your impact. Take a look around every industry from healthcare to education, finance to entertainment, is being reshaped by digital technology. If you want to thrive in this rapidly evolving world, digital proficiency is non-negotiable. Let's break this down further. Digital proficiency involves a few key elements. First, digital literacy. This is the foundation, understanding how to use basic digital tools like email, word processing, and cloud-based systems. It's about knowing how to navigate the internet, how to manage our digital footprint, and how to stay safe online. These are essential skills, no matter your industry or profession. Next is digital creativity. This goes beyond just using tools. It's about creating something new with them. Whether you're designing a website, producing digital content, or building an online business, digital creativity is about using technology to express yourself and innovate. It's about thinking outside the box and using digital platforms to share your message with the world. Then there's digital productivity. This is about optimizing your workflows, automating repetitive tasks, and using digital tools to work smarter, not harder. From project management software to time tracking apps, technology can streamline your life and free up time for the things that matter most. The more digitally proficient you become, the more productive you can be. Finally, there's digital strategy. This is where true digital proficiency comes into play. Knowing how to integrate technology into your long-term goals. Whether you're running a business, managing a team, or planning your personal growth, a digital strategy helps you leverage technology in a way that aligns with your vision. But there's something I've learned along the way. Technology is a tool, not a replacement for human connection. Even in a digital world, people want to connect with people. And that's why when we talk about achieving digital proficiency, we also talk about balancing technology with personal engagement. How can we use digital tools to deepen our relationships, expand our networks, and create meaningful connections? In 2013, when I developed the Strengths Quotient Framework, I incorporated digital tools to streamline and optimize the way I worked. But I always kept in mind that technology should serve us, not overwhelm us. When used strategically, 
digital proficiency allows us to focus on what matters, whether that's growing a business, learning new skills, or simply spending more time with loved ones. In the Ignite Your Ikigaizen program, we guide you through the process of developing digital proficiency in a way that aligns with your strengths and your unique purpose. We don't just teach you how to use technology, we teach you how to use it effectively to enhance your life and your work. And you might be thinking, I'm not a tech person. I'm too old to learn these new tools. But let me tell you this. Digital proficiency isn't about being a tech expert. It's about being adaptable, curious, and open to learning. Technology is always changing, and that means there's always something new to learn. But the good news is, with the right mindset, anyone can become digitally proficient. So let's talk about some practical ways you can start building your digital proficiency. First, embrace continuous learning. Technology evolves quickly, and the only way to stay ahead is to keep learning. Take online courses, follow industry blogs, experiment with new tools. The more you expose yourself to digital innovations, the more comfortable you become with them. Second, leverage digital tools to solve real problems. Rather than getting overwhelmed by the sheer number of tools out there, focus on the ones that help you solve specific problems. Whether it's managing your time, streamlining communication, or enhancing your marketing efforts, choose tools that provide real value to your life or business. Third, don't be afraid to ask for help. Achieving digital proficiency doesn't mean doing it all on your own. Whether it's hiring a consultant, taking a workshop, or asking a colleague for advice, seek out support when you need it. The digital world is full of resources and there's no reason to struggle through it alone. Finally, balance technology with human connection. Use digital tools to enhance your relationships, not replace them. Whether it's video calls, collaborative platforms, or social media, remember that at the heart of every digital interaction is a human being. Achieving digital proficiency is about more than just staying relevant in a fast-paced world. It's about optimizing your life, your career, and your impact through technology. So if you're ready to stop feeling overwhelmed by technology and start mastering it, join me at the Ignite Your Ikigaizen program. We'll help you develop the digital skills you need to thrive in today's world while staying true to your unique purpose and strengths. Because when you master digital proficiency, you don't just keep up with the future, you shape it.